This week, actually on his fiance Kimberly Guilfoyle's birthday, Donald Trump Jr. decided to fire up the old camera and go on a rant about how his dad actually played mind games with foreign dictators like Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un. So before I go any further, take a look. Here's Don Jr. letting it all fly in this truly bizarre video. Here it is. I can't believe Trump said something nice about Putin, Kim, Xi, anyone. He must love them. He's folding to them. You know, if it was me in charge, I'd tell them to go screw themselves, right? This is some nerd in his mom's basement who's never dealt with anything, never actually had any power, never understood those people because he's never been in the same room as them uh, in academia. They're writing this stuff like it's real, like they actually have a say, like they actually know what the hell they're talking about. Do you ever think that like all other things, maybe Trump understood that he knew exactly how to play these guys and he played it like a fiddle. All right, so before I address the actual points that he made in the video, um, I have a hard time watching that and not coming to the conclusion that he is on some kind of stimulant, right? I mean, I, I can't be the only one that watches that and thinks there's no way this dude is totally sober, which pretty much goes for any video that Donald Trump Jr. puts out. I mean, they're less rants and more cries for help, really, if you ask me. That's just my personal opinion on it. But either way, let's talk about it, right? His dad knew how to manipulate these people. You know, he doesn't really think Putin's a genius, but you say things like that to kind of grease the wheels a little bit to, you know, things. See, that's the problem with your idiotic video here, Don. You're not exactly explaining what your dad got in return for sucking up to these dictators like Kim Jong-un and, and Vladimir Putin. And of course, Erdogan as well. He said he was a great guy. So what exactly did daddy get out of this, huh? You know, he, he's manipulating them for what purpose exactly? Huh? What kind of things did your dad as president get in return for sucking up to these bloodthirsty foreign leaders? Cause that's the part that's not exactly clear. Cause otherwise, if we don't have a goal, then your little conspiracy that, oh, he's just manipulating them makes no sense, right? There has to be some kind of reward in it for, for your dad or for America. And as far as I can tell, we didn't get anything out of it. He just lavished praise upon these individuals. And that was that. I mean, at one point, by the way, he even said that he fell in love with Kim Jong-un. That was the phrase he used, fell in love. You know, a little bizarre, but hey, to each their own, we're not here to judge anybody. The problem is, Junior, daddy wasn't manipulating anybody. He was the one actually being manipulated because everybody across the world, friend and foe, knew how to manipulate your dad. You tell him he's a good leader, you butter him up about his businesses, and he is putty in your hands. Everybody knew that. I mean, hell, when he came out of those talks with Kim Jong-un, and we know he talked about it during the meeting as well, he was talking about how great the real estate opportunities were in North Korea. Ooh, yeah, because Kim Jong-un manipulated him. Vladimir Putin, well, we know that Trump wanted Trump Tower Moscow, right? I mean, that was a thing. You, you can't deny that. You wanted real estate from these people. And so in return, they got your dad to agree to not do horrible things to their countries. They manipulated him and we as a country got nothing in return. So your whole little theory here about daddy being this master manipulator, not true. Trump is not a master manipulator of anyone except for those idiots out there wearing the MAGA hats and flying their Trump flags. He manipulated those people real good. World leaders, not so much. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.